Hey, what's up guys? Real quick economy update here. So you may be noticing prices of a lot of things are rising rapidly. We have Apex, who is over 500 gold now. We are on Inlo's auction house cluster right here. Um, you're also seeing a, a direct rise of, you know, other things like workers' compensation. Workers' compensations are right around 60 or so. And all the marketplace items are affected by Apex's price. One of the things that is really high is the tempering weapon flux. So the tempering armor flux is actually still fairly cheap at 15 gold. But they introduced these brand new superior tempering brandish, burnish. And that has risen the tempering weapon fluxes up to nearly 200 gold on most auction house clusters. So if you have any cheap tempering weapon fluxes on your auction house cluster, you probably want to pick those up and uh, hold on to them for a few days, a week or so. They are very, very expensive. The reason is this guy right here is from the new $150 pack, the Archeum pack, and then also from the loyalty store. And as you can see, a tempering raises items basic stats by 5 to 14%, whereas max before uh, it was uh, like, I think it was 1 to 9% or 2 to 9%. So this is a huge, huge upgrade here, a 5% increase at the maximum level. And these guys are very, very expensive. So you'll notice that some of them are actually gray like this. And then others are more darker. So one of them comes from the 150 pack and the other one is actually bought from loyalty. Uh, if you, you definitely want to check these guys. The severe tempering, burnish. Check on these guys often because if these guys ever get low like credit card fraud comes back again uh you're definitely going to want to pick up a whole bunch of these guys and then wait for them to sell so that brings us to another point recently there was credit card fraud uh with the the packs the 150 dollar packs uh not too long ago so we have all the items from the vocation expertise tonic uh has risen up quite a bit these guys were at like 10 silver xp boost potions were at like 10 and 15 silver raising up rosen up quite a bit uh Lucky Quicksilver Tonic is at around 3 gold. Again, that was at like 10, 20 silver. We also have the Professional Tonics, which are down to like 2 or 3 gold. Jumped all the way up to 18 gold right now. We have the Experia Ducks. Those guys were like 3 or 4 gold. They're up to 14 gold now. We have the Pumpkins. There's no Pumpkins on here, but the Pumpkins, they sell for around 8 gold or so. Um, so all those items, if you ever see credit card fraud, and it's kind of like from a pack, you just take a look at the, the secrets pack, the Archeum pack that they're selling, and if all those items are really, really low, then stock up because that's credit card fraud. Eventually, they'll fix it because they don't like to lose money, uh, but those items are going to stay in the game. It's always been like that and always will be like that, so they're not going to ban you. They're not going to take your items away. Uh, we have hundreds upon hundreds, if not thousands, of these items from the credit card uh, fraud last time, and we also had that way back when when they were doing this with workers' compensations. So d don't fret, don't fear that they're going to take or ban you. Uh, completely legitimate gameplay. They're not going to ban everyone because everyone is really affected by that. The market goes down for like two or three weeks before they actually fix it. All the items are flooding the market. They can't ban every single player because pretty much every single player is buying or selling things on the auction house. So it's completely you know fine. You don't have to worry about that. Another thing that is hugely popular right now, and it's the Red Regrade Charm, specifically the Superior Red Regrade Charm. So if you have any of these guys right here, Superior Red Regrade Charms, you can see their cheapest price is like 16, 1700 gold. The reason is they don't drop out of the new RNG boxes at all. There's zero chance of getting one of these Superior Red Regrade Charms. So regrading past, I believe it is the Celestial status, is damn near impossible now so they introduced the no break charms and then screwed over the economy more so if you weren't here for the no break charm events now you can never pretty much get past celestial status it's crazy uh so red brigade charms are also getting a really nerfed rate in the rng cash out boxes and as you can see that's why they are way up up 600 700 gold uh of course your auction house cluster is going to vary but they are extremely expensive they did say eventually that they will introduce some new method to get these guys, but that was like one month ago they said this, and nothing has happened yet. Um, so expect either an event or to be added to the loyalty store someday, but as of right now, they are a great thing to sell. 
Uh, I don't recommend buying them right now at all. I definitely recommend selling them because they will eventually tank the markets just like they did with the Sun Point, the Moon Point, and the Star Point. When those guys got up to like 100G each, they just dropped down the loyalty uh, store update and then also put an event for them and dropped the prices down to like 10, 15 gold. So Trian will eventually do this again with these prices. One of the last things that I want to touch on that is extremely expensive right now, uh, Fire Lunarite. Fire Lunarite has jumped up as much as 40 silver on some auction house clusters. And this is crazy, crazy, crazy. These things were only three to four silver, uh, like what, three, four months ago when I told you about these guys, they were at the NPC sell price and now they are hugely expensive and there's not that many on the auction house. Reason being is these new events and the new cash shop boxes are actually dropping the superior versions. Let's see if I can spell that right, nope. So they're dropping the superior versions of the Lunarites, I-O-R. So they're dropping these guys and that's bringing these prices significantly down, which means more people are trying to go for tier two and tier three gems because it's a lot easier to get these. These guys used to be almost next to impossible to get. So everyone was stuck at tier one. Now they're actually like, oh, I can get to tier two. Ooh, I can get to tier three maybe. And they're trying to upgrade. And as they upgrade, they just keep consuming a lot of the fire and wave lunarites. And they're not dropping as much out of the coin purses anymore. So wave lunarite has also seen a big increase as well. I've seen them up to again, 40 or 35 silver on different auction house clusters and at different times. So if you have a lot of these guys, it's a good time to sell them when they reach right around there, 20, 25. Uh, great time to try and unload some of these guys. When you do sell these guys, you want to sell them in bunches of like 20, 30, 50. Uh, you don't want to have weird, odd, funky numbers because you do require 10 every time that you go and create a Luna Gym or Luna Frost. So there it is. Quick recap of the economy right there. Of course, there are other things that I have missed. Um, I know people were talking about the ship regrades. I haven't really taken a look at those guys, but they did fix the regrade, like exploit for the ships where you can't really destroy your ship. They nerfed that rate down quite a bit. So the regrade scrolls for ships should be increasing or have increased in value. But yeah, there's a lot of other things that they have done and I just can't cover it all because I don't even play Arcage anymore. Sorry guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, post them down below. Hopefully someone else can help out or maybe I can answer your questions and I'll talk to you guys later. Check out the giveaways. We're doing a lot of giveaways, giving away tons of Apex, gold, uh, miscellaneous things as well. Thanks guys. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.